The fifth race, 1997 and 15th annual championship final of the Fan Hanover Stakes. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Sanibel Island watching her in the center of the track, and she is making a determined bid for the lead. Sanibel Island going on. Artistic Pleasure came out with her. Lin Chu at the inside in the top three. Eyes of an Angel is fourth. Keep your pants off to the outside is fifth. When you wish upon a star, tucking in tight quarters to be in sixth. Art in the park is seventh at the wheel of Paling Avenue. And then the last pair, Cohiba Mary and Juice Box was trailing. Artistic Pleasure carries Sanibel Island into the first turn. 26 and three. Steve Warrington is hustling Sanibel Island up front. Artistic Pleasure reluctant to let her go. Carried her the first three-eighths. Sanibel Island finally cleared. She had to work hard to get there. Artistic Pleasure will sit along in second. Lin Chu is third. Eyes of an Angel is fourth. Keep Your Pants Off is brought out from fifth. When You Wish Upon a Star, sixth on the outside. Then Paling Avenue, Art in the Park, Cohiba Mary and Juice Box. There's the half. Sanibel Island in 56 seconds flat to more moderate 20 29 and 2. In the second quarter, Sanibel Island still waiting for a challenger. Artistic pleasure. Content to stay to the inside. Second. And Kerwood brings Lin Chu up out of the three hole with three eighths remaining. Eyes of an angel to the inside is fourth. Keep your pants off is in a great spot. A second over fifth. When you wish upon a star, sixth at the outside. Juice box to her wheel to the inside and seventh. Then Paling Avenue, Cohiba Mary, and Art in the Park. Sanibel Island, three quarters in 124 and 4. They're at the top of the stretch. The 1997 and 15th annual Fan Hanover Stakes final. Sanibel Island on the lead since just past the quarter. Lin Chu was first over. Artistic Pleasure on the inside is third. Paling Avenue to the extreme outside. Then Eyes of an Angel dives to the inside. Artistic Pleasure is coming out in a tight spot in deep stretch. Paling Avenue driving hard. Artistic Pleasure trying to hold off Paling Avenue. 152 and 4. Right there. Third was Sanibel Island. An up set in the 1997 Fan Hanover Final. 1A Artistic Pleasure won the photo and the 1997 Fan Hanover Stakes Final. Arts Place 3-year-old Bay Philly from Magenta. Homebred of Bob McIntosh Stables and Al McIntosh Holdings of Windsor and Leamington and Cape Mitchell Stables. Bob McIntosh trains Bill Gale for the winning drive. Her second in 13 this year. Lifetime best. 152 and 4 artistic pleasure wins the fan hanover stakes making the winners enclosure presentation the owner of this series and stakes namesake fan hanover dr j glenn brown who 16 years ago became the filly to win the little brown jug Also assisting in the winner's enclosure is Sharon Caddy from CFTO Channel 9 Weather. $37.50 is the win price on Artistic Pleasure. Very impressive in the Fan Hanover Stakes Final. I have her winning driver, Bill Gale, on my right. I have her winning trainer, owner, co-owner, and co-breeder on my left, Bob McIntosh. Gentlemen, this was a terrific race. First of all, Bob, I'd like to ask you about your filly. Only one win this year. She had a terrific freshman year. Her last start, she was second to Sanibel Island in a two-hole trip. She seemed a lot better last week. Yeah, she seems to be <clears throat> just getting good here lately. She's had, you know, some bad racing luck during the year, but the last couple of weeks I see a big change in her mentally, and uh, you know, she had her some tough breaks, racing breaks early in the year, but hopefully she'll put that behind her now. Bill Gale, you're known for giving a horse a superb trip tonight. You had the four hole. Sanibel Allen was right next to you on the gate with the five, and your strategy must have been get out of there and go and sit where you were. Well, I'm not so sure about 
planned to have the two hole, but I wanted to be close to uh, Steve's filly, and I thought Mike would be coming out of there with the keep your pans off, and I thought if I could sit up close to those two, I'd have a chance to get some money anyways. Now, you sat in the pocket behind Sanibel Island last week, and your filly was only beat two lengths to her. Uh, what was the difference in her tonight? Big opening quarter, 26-3 and three tonight. Well, I think the big difference in her is standing right in your left. Bob just had her... She would just had that extra edge on her this week. Uh, last week she raced well, but she never really had the kick on the end and was a little bit lazy, if anything. And tonight she was right up on the bit and she was wanting to race and like she went a strong race tonight. Now, uh, Bob, this filly is a sister to Mr. G, right. who is the same kind of bloodlines. This is an arts place filly, of course. Mr. G right. was Armbro Getty. Was that what made your decision to breed this mare to arts place? Well, we buried Armbro Getty first, and uh, she worked out so well with the Abercrombie blood that then uh, after I raced uh, arts place, it was a pretty easy decision to go back to the Abercrombie line, and uh, you know it's worked out well. We're going to have a chance to watch the stretch drive, gentlemen, so Bill can get a little bit closer look because he didn't see it uh, the way we did. Here they are turning for home, Bill, and at this point, the horse on the outside seems to be tearing a bit, but you always have to worry whether you're going to get out. Well, I was worrying for a bit. Uh, Tony's filly was going a strong race herself first up, and uh, she'd been roughed up a little even, too. But uh, down at the end right in here, Tony's filly gets a little tired and starts to lay out a bit, and I was able to sneak through. Well, terrific win. Uh, that's artistic pleasure. 152 and 4 in the Fan Hanover Stakes.